Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're checking out the Dostronic DC. What's going on guys, Devin from Reef Dudes. Now I've been running the Dostronic for years and recently Focustronic came out with a new version of the DC, which is a slightly cheaper version. Um, so we're gonna open, pop her open and take a look. Um, now they did hook me up with this one to play with, so thank you guys for that. Now if you guys haven't seen it, you probably have by now, but the Alcatronic line was the original device and is your alkalinity tester. Then they came up with the Mastertronic, which tests all, automates all the manual test kits. And then they have the Dosetronic. So it allows you to have five dosing heads. And the cool thing about it is if you have an Alcatronic, you can have it tweak your dosing based off your test results. So inside the box, we got some of our tubing. We got the power supply. So I've got a mounting bracket and a USB cable. and the Dostronic itself. And we got a little QR code so you download the apps from the App Store and the user manual. The Dostronic itself, it looks, I'm gonna have to compare it to the other one, but it looks relatively the same size. Um, the biggest difference is there's a different type of dosing head. So if you look at these ones, these are the Kamor style dosers. I think they might actually be the same ones that the Kamor dosing pumps use, because they look identical. Where the original version has stepper motors, so it'll probably be a little more accurate for like those, you know, 0.1 mils, like this, the micro doses, it's going to be a little more accurate on that one. Um, as for differences, I believe the other difference was you could use it for continuous duty stuff like an automatic water changer or a calcium reactor, where this one I believe is just for dosing. Now the power is actually out right now, so we are running our light off a of battery backup. And we're going to do the same for the Dostronic. I think this guy I'm actually going to use it for dosing trace elements. That's one thing that I kind of slack on dosing on and off on regular schedule. Okay, so I just plugged it in. It should be powered on. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is join this to our Wi-Fi. So it showed up now, and I think it was his DT password. Now I should be able to launch the Focustronic app, and hopefully it'll bring us to the setup page, and we should be able to pass it our 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection and get it on the network. Now in theory it should, oh there we go, it's got the pop-up so it's connected to the internet. I believe it goes under the default tank, yes it does. So if I click on that, and I'm going to say move to another tank, and let's move it to the water box. So now if I click into the water box, and we go to Dostronic, five different pumps now. Um, you can link it to an Elkatronic, and it does have the Dostronic mode, which is kind of cool. And basically what that does, if you have stuff, say you're using this for like magnesium, calcium, and your alkalinity dose rises, you can have it raise all your pump heads by a certain percentage, which is pretty cool. Um, same thing if you know, you're dosing your alkalinity, you can have it go up and down based off what your test results are. So it's really cool to be able to tweak things around that one. And uh, so you got your manual dose, you know, if you can go in, you could add your schedule in here. So daily dose, so see if it's 100 mil, is, you can go up to 20, okay, so you can go up to 24 times. Um, so basically a dose once per hour. Um, start hours, you can pick what time it starts. Um, daytime, so you can pick within a certain range of the day if you want to dose, say if you only want to dose at night or certain periods. Um, oh, you can, no, that's kind of cool, that's new. There's a ratio, so you can say what percentage of dosing at nighttime versus what percentage of the daytime. That's kind of cool, actually. That's, that's a new one I've seen. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool way to actually make a schedule. Um, copy schedule, I guess you want to move it to a different pump head. You've got your manual dose if you wanted to manually tweak stuff. Uh, remaining volume, you put, you know, how big your vessel is. Say you got a 500 mil bottle you're dosing from. That'll keep track of it and alert you once you're actually out. Um, we got, again, we've got Calibrate and Prime. So yeah, very, pretty much the same features as you get in the full meal deal Dostronic. Main, big main difference is the different style pump heads. So you can see all the Kamor style pumps in there. And that's really, honestly, I think is the biggest difference is, you know, the DC motor style pump heads like the Kamor uses is, you know, they're more affordable than the stepper motor. So this, you know, knocks, you know, a good chunk of change off the price of the product. And for most people, this is probably good enough to be honest. Um, I think the only big difference that I recall is the stepper motors you can use for continuous duty. Um, I don't do that, but if you want to use it to say feed a calcium reactor, a calc reactor, 
or maybe a water change, that would be kind of the upsell of using the stepper motors. Uh, they're, they're likely a little more precise because stepper motors, you can do a little more fine tune. So, you know, maybe you get that extra like 0.1 mil of resolution type of thing. Um, but otherwise, for all your main style dosing, this is definitely going to do the job and it's going to do it at a cheaper price point. So if you guys are already in the Elgatronic, Mastertronic ecosystem, definitely worth checking out. I plan on doing this for trace elements because I'm a slacker at that one. And automating those, I think, will make the tank a lot happier. But that's going to have to wait for the tanks and everything else to regain power and get stuff rolling again in the house. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, smash that like button. If you didn't, make sure you subscribe. If you got any questions on this, let me know in the comments below. And I'll be sure to answer you down there below. All right, guys, catch you on the next video.